Hello my dear students, today again we are going to discuss the same chapter what I believe by M. Post. We already have seen that he ridicules the age of faith into which he was living. He calls it uh, a bloody age as I already have told you. At the same time he holds the idea that he needs to have faith in at least some ideas for proceeding ahead. Because when you don't have any idea, when you don't have any background, any premise, how can you go ahead? Even if you say that you don't have faith, it means you have faith in not having faith. That's, that's the thing you want to say. And then he said that he wants to have something to have faith in. And then he starts from personal relationship and some other ideas. In those ideas, in institutions into which he has faith, I have given here one by one. The very first one. Uh, into which he has faith is the personal relationship the next one reliability in personal relationship and the third one democracy the fourth one parliament and the fifth one the press and after that he moves ahead to talk about force what exactly force does in a democratic nation and now dear students you want to see the line in your book from here what about force or other uh, you can see the line because it is very much visible on the screen of the mobile phone so you can kind of see here too and uh, he says what about force though while we are trying to be sensitive and advanced and affectionate and tolerant an unpleasant question pops up does not all society rest upon force if a government cannot count upon the police and the army how can it hope to rule he says what about force because uh, a time when the people are getting more and more sensitive, advanced, affectionate and tolerant. It may be that whatever they do, they may be opposite of the democratic government or the powerful people. In that case, uh, the force pops up because you cannot kind of deny the existence of force. Force always is there because the government itself rests upon force. If government does not rest upon force, then what is the use of the police or the army? Or it becomes usually very much impossible for the government to rule. So usually the government uh, has force to rule. And uh, in that case, as I told you that even if in a democratic government, when an individual is against the government, in many of the cases it has been witnessed that an uh, individual is knocked down by, by the government, maybe by the powerful people or other kind of, the, the, the nexus of the powerful people, of different institutions. And if an individual gets knocked, uh, gets knocked on the head or sent to a labor camp, of what significance are his opinions? And further he said that if, uh, in such a condition, if an individual who is creative, who is sensitive, who wants to do something good for the, for the sake of the human race, in that case, if the same person is knocked down or, or sent to jail, I mean labor camp here means jail, then what would be the result of that? What significance are his opinions or his creativity or anything which he or she wants to do for the sake of the human race, as I told you? This dilemma does not worry as much as it does some. And he says that this particular problem does not worry me as it usually uh, worries to so many people. And then the next thing, I realized that all society rests upon force, but all the great creative actions, all the decent human relations occur during the intervals when force has not managed to come to the front. These intervals are what matters. I want them to be as frequent and as lengthy as possible and I call them civilization. And then, then he moves ahead telling that he realizes usually that all governments usually or all society or societal bondages usually they rest upon force. Uh, most of the time this, this force you can well witness in your society, in your individual life because when you go against the society, maybe against the government, lots of people they come ahead, want to pressurize you not to do that. And that's what force does. But all the cre great creative actions, all the decent human relations occur during the intervals. And he says that but, uh, this is the problem with the, with, the, uh, with the force or with the power that it does not work all the time. He says that all those creative actions, decent human relations, all these things take place when, rest, uh, when, when uh, force or power usually rest or sleep in between you know, the intervals. During the intervals, when force has not managed to come to the front, these intervals are what matters. And he says that these, these intervals matter a lot for the development of the human race. He said that in between these intervals, lots of creative people, they come ahead, 
to do something uh, and that uh, that that thing usually help uh, human civilization human race humanity uh, and, and 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 he says that this must be th- this particular uh, interval must be as frequent as lengthy as possible and uh, he says that the, uh, this he calls civilization this interval he calls civilization because usually civilization evolves in between these intervals according to em foster please please note down this thing some people idealize force and pull it into the foreground and worship it instead of keeping it in the background as long as possible i think they make a mistake and i think that their approaches the mistakes are even more when they declare that force does not exist and then he goes ahead with two different kind of people he says that there are some people who idealizes force usually who say that force is fine uh, and who who worship force and who want that force must come on the foreground rather it must be there in in the background and he said that it's a kind of uh, uh, it's a kind of mistaken judgment because when force comes ahead it stops everything force must not come ahead and uh, so he ridicules such people who worship force who worship power and who wants that power come power must come on forefront then he uh, takes the next type of people whom he calls mystics mystics who are mystics usually i'll tell you uh, i have written here on a page a mystic usually is a person who seeks by contemplation to or who tries to find out those truth by contemplation which usually are beyond human intellect usually at a time you see when uh, when when the people they are under deep meditation they, they find uh, so many things which usually does not uh, uh, you know suit to 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 the logic to to the rationality etc so uh different kind of people who usually say these are the mystics who say that there is no power at all that exist in the world except the power of the god or the almighty and they are more they are the more mystic in people when they say there is no no, no force no power etc so he says that these two kind of people they are kind of uh, going into different directions and usually uh, not uh, telling something which is beneficial for the uh, common human race and further he says that i believe that it exists and that one of our jobs is to prevent it from getting out of its box it gets out sooner or later and then it destroys us in all the lovely things which we have made but it is not out all the time for the fortunate reason that the strong are so stupid dear uh, students here he said that he believes that it exists he does not deny uh, its existence and he said that it is the it is the uh, responsibility of uh, b people it is the responsibility of the learned the creative people the sensitive the the caring people that they must prevent par they must prevent force to come out of its box it gets out sooner or later everybody knows this but it is our responsibility to check it to prohibit it to come out as long as possible because we know that when it comes out it destroys us it is destroys all the lovely things lovely religions and all the things which people out of their hard work have created for the sake of the humanity but it is not out all the time everybody knows and for the fortunate reason that the strong are so stupid and further he said that we know that we can get ample time for the fortunate reason that the powerful people or the strong people or the uh, people who hold who a uh, kind of power who are who who who, who hold uh, who impose uh, the things upon the people they for the fortunate reason they are stupid and they do not know what to do what not to do at the right moment and for that reason at least the, the creative people the sensitive people the wise people the brilliant one they have time to do something good for the sake of the humanity or human race thank you very much dear students